Hello and welcome to a short demonstration on how to create and use Wild Key. We've logged into our account and we're going to click on the Wild Key button and then we can either choose to look at the existing keys or create new ones. In this case we'll create a key. In this instance we're going to make a Corvid key. So this is a the crow family, so six birds we're going to choose. I've uh, saved some time here by getting some text. I'm just going to copy and select that in. So a very simple demonstration. As a registered user, you can make uh, keys with up to six objects. So this is the type of thing you could do um, with your limited access. So I've added a, a little icon there for the crow. And then we come to a, a key. Um, now what we can do, uh, it's very much like a family tree, you can create branching uh, databases coming off that, but what I like to do first of all is actually create the outcomes uh, for which this key is going to contain. You may decide to do that as you go along, but uh, I prefer to make them um, up front. So we're going to create an outcome in the gallery, and first of all we're going to hit the edit tool here and give uh, the first outcome. Uh, a name. In this case we're looking at wildlife and particularly the, the crow family so I'm going to add the name uh, carrion crow into the title here and then I'm going to paste in a quick uh, description about the bird. Now this is the text which will be revealed uh, at the end of your key process. So we'll copy and just paste that uh, back into the uh, description box here and now uh, I'm also going to load uh, an image. You can load up to three images uh, primary, secondary and tertiary uh, and this allows you to vary the, the different types of images you access as you go through the key. So uh, in this instance we've got the crow uh, as it looks on the ground and also in the air. And there we have our first object. Okay, this is the uh, second bird we're going to look at, the jackdaw. Just again, I'm going to copy the text in and we're going to paste it in. So very quick and easy to create outcomes for this uh, key. And again, I'm going to keep this consistent and upload two images. One for the bird on the ground and one for the bird from the air. If I can find the right one, there we go. Okay, so I'll just save that. Now, to save time, I'm, I'm going to just skip through uh, the process of making all the keys, uh, sorry, all the outcomes, and we have our six birds here. So now we need to create the uh, tree structure, uh, and we're going to have to decide what type of questions to ask. So the first question I'm going to be looking at um, is going to be looking at the, the main colours of these birds. So the question we're going to be asking is uh, the bird is mainly dot 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 and we'll come up with three options and it's better to make statements than ask uh, outright questions because um, you can repeat repeat the characteristics later on and they appear nicer as a statement than as a question so we've got some black members of the crow family some black and white members of the crow family and uh, one other which has a, a bit of a pink issue to it as well so these are my uh, three main uh, primary questions here and if there's only one outcome, uh, we can actually drag the the uh, outcome into the, the question. So, for example, the, the J is the uh, culprit for the pink bird, and the magpie is the uh, outcome for being a black and white. Now, the black uh, birds within the crow family are a bit more involved, so we need another question in order to be able to, to identify those. So, I'm just going to add another question here and put in some more outcomes for those. So the next question uh, relates to um, some more sort of detailed features of the bird um, and these um, relate to its beak or to um, the way it looks. So I'm going to have four outcomes, one for each of the remaining birds we have. Uh, let me just bring that in there. Okay, so again, just to save time, the carrion crow has a large beak with uh, no markings. They're pretty obvious when you see them. Let's paste that in. Now, the second option that we're going to be looking at is the rook, which is a, a grey hood and grey eyes. Um, just bear in mind, there's no right or wrong way to uh, devise a key. We down to your personal preference. Um, 
and it's quite a good exercise to actually see if uh, you and a colleague will come up with the same key. Um, I'll pop that in. Oh, sorry, this is the rook. Uh, and then finally, the chuff. We'll just pipe paste that in there. Okay, so all, all that is left to do now is to actually attach the, the outputs or outcomes, I should say, to these questions. So I'm just going to drag the chuff there. Now, where's the rook? The rook. That will move up to here. The grey skin at the base of its beak. The jackdaw, the grey hoodie boy bird. There we go. And finally, back to our friend the carrion crow. I will just drag him up onto there. So we've made our key. I've got six outcomes. And you'll see that the actual images are beginning to populate as we move along the key there. So um, we can also use this little panel on the right to navigate around the key. And these are the, the first images. If we click on number two, the secondary images will will appear there. But I'm happy um, with the first images. The primary images will use those. Um, you can switch to overview mode. I'm just going to make sure I save this first. Always make sure you save your your key because obviously you need to make sure that's all banked up on our server. Um, and there's a, a sort of overview particularly useful when you have a very large uh, key, but in this instance it's pretty clear to see. Okay, so we're going to switch back to editing mode. And we're finished there now, so now we can publish this key and we're ready to use this on the mobile device itself. Tap on wild key here and we have our core vid key. Just click on there, there's a short description we typed in earlier. So we're just going to have a quick look at this key. Uh, here are our three questions. This is the bird many black, black and white, black and pinky brown. And we can also see the um, different outcomes at that stage. Um, here we have the uh, magpie, just going straight to that. And also we've looked at lookalikes, which might uh, confuse the user. Uh, we can then go over to the recording side and it will record uh, the time, where you are, GPS location, uh, the number of birds, and you can take a photo. Okay, so we're out in the field uh, using the application. If you look carefully out in the field there, you might see uh, a little black dot. That's a, a magpie, trust me. So uh, we're going to go through the identification process of that, looking at its color and so forth via the device. And here we have the, uh, the user just taking the photo as well, having successfully identified it. And then that data can be stored on the device and uploaded. So within five minutes, we've created a, a wild key, we've mobilized it, and the final stage is just to upload that data and visualize it back on the portal. Okay, here we are back on the portal. Uh, just gonna click on wild key here and look at my keys. We don't, we don't need to click on the creation button this time, but to look at my keys, there are two keys within this account. And what we're really interested in is looking at the, uh, the data associated with that key. So. Uh, here we have our data. You can see that we have four um, magpies recorded. Um, and these are shown as a report which can be sorted by column or searched um, and so forth. You can also export that to Excel. But we're also going to have a look at the, the mapping tool here. And we can see our records via the, the Google Maps uh, normal functionality, satellite maps um, or, or basic maps. You can zoom in and out. Uh, and so forth. And uh, if we if we zoom back in quickly, we can then just click on one of these icons and it will show the same data that you saw there in, in the report. So who, where, what, uh, when details. And if you click on the camera here, it will bring up a, an image. There's one magpie hiding up in the top of the tree there. Uh, and I'll just show you one more just to prove there was a magpie in that video clip. Just click on there. And there we have it. Lovely, just a little black dot. So that's it. That's uh, the whole process from creation, mobilization, and visualization.